Hi everyone, welcome once again to my channel. Today we are going to create a 3D Valentine's Day pop-up card that can be also used for a uh, as an anniversary card or just any time you want to make someone special and this is a 3d card um, that has very nice uh, layers and also has a section for a message So you can see all the layers here. It's a fun car and it's a very nice um, and different car that you can make uh, for anyone you want to make feel special, especially during those during this month, which is um, Valentine's Day coming up. Let's check the materials. We basically need cardstock, either uh, as glitter and foil also and foamy dots. I have all the pieces here. Um, these are the layers for the card. This is the small heart on, uh, with layers. These are hard leftovers that we are going to use. And here are the pieces for the base and this is for the message. And the envelope pieces. Let's start working on it. So we are going to start with the face uh, and we kind of need to create a couple lines to make sure that everything is centered towards this section that you just saw. Um, you can use either a pencil or uh, the tool that I'm using, which is for score lines. Um, but these lines need to be very light because I don't want the, the vase to fold in those areas that I'm going to mark in a minute. So using my ruler, I'm going to uh, create this center here. Um, between this and this section to create exactly the center here um, and uh, I'm gonna use the roller uh, just to make sure I'm creating the center even that I can kind of see it based on the design of the base um, so I'm not good to calculate in weight inches when the measurement is not a very precise I'm gonna do it by centimeters right now. This dimension with or <clears throat> size, it will depend on how big or, or small you make this card. Um, but what you basically will need to do is just to establish the center in this section. And this is basically just to be very precise. So I'm going to make a line here and then that's going to be my reference for the, um, the next measurements that I'm going to take. So kind of just double checking here that I calculated the center correctly um, because uh, this will uh, be very important to fit all the pieces. So next thing I will need to do is calculate, uh, check the this measurement, which is, um, I'm gonna check it in by centimeter size. And then I'm going to divide that 
a size by half let's say it's 1.5 inches then it will be 0.75 um, from the center to each side So this one is 3.4 uh, divided by 2 and this, this is this measurement is in centimeters that I just um, mentioned so then I'm um, creating those <coughs> sorry those um, marks here um, at the top and also on the bottom just to make sure it's gonna be they are gonna be straight lines And then I'm going to create the line uh, very light also, not too hard with my tool because I just need them as a reference. I don't need to fold these sections at all. And now you can see the lines that I have made. So now I have these three pieces this and I have to fold them like this and this is the second one I don't know if I say three pieces but if I did it's just two pieces <laughs> sorry okay so these pieces have the cut lines on top and the one closer to the score line to my um right is the one that needs to be attached to the face just like this I'm just double checking here that the score lines are aligned to the um score lines for my base also and then uh i can just kind of center this So showing you once again the score lines and then here are this is the one that closer to the score line so that's the one that we are gonna glue and with this one I'm gonna fold it to the opposite side okay so now I'm just gonna place this one exactly where the score line that I made is like this and then I'm gonna use um, hot glue so it will stick immediately just like this and then I'm gonna do the same with the second piece this part right here and it goes also where the score line is adding glue again and now I have these two pieces attached and once I close this uh, base this is how it's gonna look it's gonna go like this okay so now I'm gonna make this one flat folding this score line and this one is gonna go just like this and then I'm gonna add glue only on this section that has the that is folded and then right here 
and remove anything in between and then I'm just gonna put this one on top so it's gonna glue those sections only and I recommend to not put too much glue otherwise it may stick other areas like right here <laughs> And then now I'm just going to close my base and glue here. I think I put too much glue here. I will need to remove a little bit. So now my piece folds either to the right or to the left once we have everything in place we can make a decision to um, determine what what side will be best to fold it once we put it in inside of the envelope but you can see that it folds right either way So now it's time to start putting the these layers like this. I'm just gonna uh, double make uh, the score lines because um, some of them are not perfect. Um, I can see some and others not. Uh, I probably didn't put right my score tool, my scoring tool. Uh, so I'm just enforcing them and then we have to fold these sections like this and I think I did one this one too far I'm just gonna cut a little bit just in case you may not need to do this step if if your scoring tool does uh, create the score lines very well so now we are putting this on on the first cut line section that we have all the way down and then we need to glue those sections that have uh, that we folded um, as those are the gonna be the ones holding uh, with the face so now I'm gonna do the same with the uh, second layer because uh, some of them are not it's hard to see them and obviously they won't fold very well and these pieces need to fold very well so they will fit perfectly so I'm folding the sections again and they're gonna go right here in the cut lines in the middle like this Now before that, I recommend to add the glue on these sections. Otherwise, once you have the second piece, it will be a little bit more difficult because the spaces will be limited. So it's better if you glue it one by one or as you go. And depending on the material that you use, you may need to kind of just double check in the back that the piece is aligned because sometimes the paper bends a little bit okay so far looks good so now I'm gonna uh, attach the second piece and as I mentioned, it, it's going through, uh, it's going with the second cut. And just make sure that uh, all your pieces are going all the way down because that's very important in order to make sure the pieces are aligned one to the other once they are in place so 
and you can kind of put them all together before you um, glue them or attach them like I'm doing right now so that will give you an idea how they are going to fit together Now I'm gonna glue this section same as I did with my first piece. And I'm gonna do the same with the other side. So now I'm going to add the third piece and we can do that before or after we, we create the heart, um, it's up to you. You will have more space to work with the heart if you add this piece after that for sure. But if the way it will work, it will be totally up to you. So this piece. I have to fold it too. This one is a little bit thicker because it's glitter. Um, just making sure the cut lines are right. Yep, they are. And this one goes right here. But if you notice, the space is more limited. So we need to fold this to the opposite side comparing to the others. As this piece is the one that goes closer to the base, to the front of the face. And again, we have to put it all the way down. Because we just want to see the letters. We don't want to see the, the part that works as base holder. If we call it that way. <laughs> okay. And then the next step will be also glue this piece. Just kind of making sure everything's centered here. And again, depending on the type of cardstock that you use, you need to work with the pieces to make them fit and be aligned align to the others. Um, I'm using cardstock 65 pounds and it's from Recollections and the glitter is also from Recollections and I got it from Michaels. I'm just double checking that it's folding without problems. Looks good. Thing is folding right either way <clears throat> or both ways. <laughs> so now I'm gonna attach this piece using foamy dots. Okay, so now I'm just attaching this piece like this. Okay. 
And now it's time to put the layers for my heart together. So now the heart is going to go on top of this area. And because I don't want to have something that are going to be in the air, I'm going to add a couple first on the layer that I have instead of the heart. And then I will place the heart on top so I know where exactly it's going to be. And the foamy dots won't be noticeable. Like this and then once I have the heart in place I can just add extra dots just to make sure that this piece is not gonna get removed or anything or um, and also to make sure it's gonna stay in place the entire time So now I'm going to use this small teeny piece to hold these two pieces so it will make these um, layers more stable also. And I just have to put it exactly where the heart center starts. But if you notice, if I just do it like this, you will see this piece <laughs> sticking out. <laughs> So there is a small trick for that. But before that, uh, so what you will need to do is add also hot glue in this area. But before adding the glue, what we are going to do is <clears throat> make a small cut, very, very small, just enough to uh, make this a small piece that is going to hold them together, go down so we won't see it. So now I'm going to put it back there and it's going to go all the way down and we won't have anything on top sticking out. And then after that, we just need to glue um, this piece so it's going to be 100% there. Just like this. So now I'm going to add the glue. Very little. We don't need to add too much. And then do this. So this piece is going to stay there. And then after that, you just need to cut any excess that we don't want to uh, be seen 
once the car is completely done. And then we will do the same with the front. So now we are gonna add the sections that go all around the base. And I'm gonna attach them with family darts also. So now my car is pretty much done and just double checking that it falls without problems. And then what's next is to attach the piece for the message or greetings. And I'm just gonna to the ribbon in the center only and attach it to the heart like this and then we can place it anywhere we want and I'm gonna we can put it like this if we want or uh, you can do what I'm gonna do which is just add another family that <laughs> to give it some dimension also. So, the car is pretty much ready. And I'm just gonna glue this, then glue it right away. My bad. <laughs> So I'm just gonna add a little bit, but very little, we don't want to notice that there is glue there. And then to do the same that I did with the back. And then cut the excess so it's not gonna show up at front. Okay, it's faulting, no problem. <laughs> I'll just form it up to cover the message so it's not open all the time. <laughs> but the car is ready now. So I added this small heart inside uh, with these pieces the back just to kind of add a center focus And 
and as I mentioned it, so I'm just gonna add a formatter here so um, the message won't stay open all the time. A little one because we wanted to open back and forth. Now it's just there like this. And you can see it's a beautiful card. So now I'm gonna work on the envelope. And this is a very simple envelope. I only have back and front sides. Um, I'm just gonna cut the corners like this so it's easier to attach the two pieces. And I'm also gonna use the leftovers uh, that I got from the card pieces, which are the hearts basically. So I can use them here. And since I made some of the pieces with glitter cardstock, the hearts are also with glitter, so it's a good idea to use them. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't want to throw them away. So I'm gonna attach the two, these two pieces with a, just a key glue, uh, so that they can dry quickly. I'm just checking here that the glue is right, in the right place. And um, now I'm just gonna add the hearts anywhere here. Uh, just to make the envelope a little bit cuter. <laughs> um, and as I say, I didn't wanna throw away these hearts which that are very cute, made of glitter and are leftovers. So it's a good idea to use them uh, we can also use these hearts to decorate the base of the card if we want to. Um, it's an just an idea. So I'm uh, attaching them with uh, that so they have a little bit of dimension also. And as you can see, this envelope is very easy, super easy to make. You can also add uh, the message and make it bigger and put it on front, uh, at front of the envelope. It will be also very nice um, if you want to add the message on the envelope instead. So I have the envelope ready now. I'm just going to fold my card like this or like this. And it's gonna go like this. And my 3D Valentine's Day pop up card is ready now. We could also make this card for any special occasion for our loved ones. So we have now the final result and the way that will be received is you pull, pull it out from the, the envelope and then you fold it to get the 3D effect with all the cute details all around. It's a beautiful car. Um, it's fun to make it, it's easy to make it also and it will make uh, the person who receives it very happy. So thank you very much for watching my videos. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you on my next one. Bye bye.